how's it going? It's uh, about 11.25 uh, p.m. And rather than go to some New Year's party, I thought I would uh, hang out with my old buddy, my golden buck. Well, and see, uh, it's not true. Silence isn't gold. Overwriting is gold. And <laughs> Uh, chapter 13, so gonna jinx the new year. But I understand it's already doomed. Uh, those religious nuts uh, <laughs> with their tracks uh, said that, you know, we've got like a just a little over five months to go and it's over. Yeah. <laughs> chapter 13 of First Nephi. And it came to pass that the angel spoke unto me, saying, Look. And I looked and beheld many nations and kingdoms. This is Nephi talking. <laughs> and the angel said unto me, What beholdest thou? And I said, I behold many nations and kingdoms. <laughs> Uh, a little a little bit of repetition there. Uh, and he said unto me, These are the nations and kingdoms of the Gentiles. And it came to pass that I saw among the nations of the Gentiles the foundation of a great church. And the angel said unto me, Behold the foundation of a church which is most abominable above all other churches. Now that's really saying something. Which slayeth the saints of God, yea, and tortureth them, and bindeth them down, and yoketh them with a yoke of iron. <coughs> and bringeth them down into captivity. And it came to pass that I beheld this great and abominable church, and I saw the, and I saw the devil, that he was the foundation of it. And I also saw gold and silver and silks and scarlets and fine twined linen and all manner of precious clothing. And I saw many harlots. And the angel spake unto me, saying, Behold the gold, the silver, and the silks, and the scarlets, and the fine twined linen and the precious clothing and the harlots are the desires of this great and abominable church and also for the praise of the world yeah we just hate the world do they wait and also for the praise of the world do they destroy the saints of god and bring them down into captivity. <clears throat> and it came to pass that I looked and beheld many waters, and they divided the Gentiles from the seed of my brethren. And it came to pass that, this, that the angel said unto me, Behold, the wrath of God is upon the seed of thy brethren. 
And I looked, and I beheld a man among the Gentiles, who was separated from the seed of my brethren by many waters. And I beheld the Spirit of God, that it came down and wrought upon this man, and he went forth upon the many waters, even unto the seed of my brethren, who were in the promised land. And it came to pass that I beheld the Spirit of God that he wrought upon other Gentiles, <clears throat> and they went forth out of captivity upon many waters. <sighs> and, and it came to pass that I held, behold, the, uh, that I beheld many multitudes of the Gentiles upon the land of promise, and I beheld the wrath of God, that it was upon the seed of my brethren, and they were scattered before the Gentiles, and were smitten. And I beheld the Spirit of the Lord, that it was upon the Gentiles, and they did prosper, and obtain the land in their inheritance. And I beheld that they were white, and exceedingly fair and beautiful, like unto my people before they were slain. That's all the Nephites, which he prophetically, you know, he's telling us uh, the Dana Ma. <laughs> yeah, they all wipe each other out, and just the few that are left became Indians. I mean Native Americans, pardon me. <sighs> So anyway, you know, they'll wipe out their, his seed, and but it'll be all right because, you know, at least these wonderful people are all, you know, beautiful and white, like God likes it. All right, all right. And I beheld the Spirit of the Lord that it was upon the Gentiles, and they did prosper and obtain the land for their inheritance. And I beheld that they were white and exceedingly Wait, 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 I'm sorry. And it came to pass that I, Nephi, beheld that the Gentiles who had gone forth out of captivity did humble themselves before the Lord, and the power of the Lord was with them. <clears throat> and it beheld that their mother Gentiles were gathered together upon... Mother Gentiles were gathered <laughs> together upon the waters and upon the land also, to battle amongst them. And I beheld that the power of God was with them, and also that the wrath of God was upon those who had gathered together against them to battle. And I, Nephi, beheld that the Gentiles had gone out of captivity and were delivered by the power of God out of the hands of all other nations. And it came to pass that I, Nephi, beheld that they did prosper in the land, and I beheld a book that was carried forth among them. And the angel said unto me, Knowest thou the meaning of the book? And I said, Behold, it proceeded out. Wait, and I said, Wait, and I said, I know not. And he said, Behold, it proceedeth out of the mouth of a Jew. And I, Nephi, beheld that he said unto me, The book that thou beholdeth is, the, is a record of the Jews, which contains the covenants of the Lord, which he hath made unto the house of Israel. And it also containeth many of the prophecies of the holy prophets. And it is a record like unto the engravings which are upon the plates of brass, save, the, save there are not so many. <laughs> Nevertheless, 
they contain the covenants of the Lord, which he hath made unto the house of Israel. Wherefore, they are of great worth unto the Gentiles. These plates. And the angel of the Lord said unto me, Thou hast beheldest the book. Uh, the book proceeded forth from the mouth of a Jew. When it proceeded forth from the mouth of, the, of a Jew, it contained the plainness of the gospel of the Lord, of whom the twelve apostles bear record, and they bear record according to the truth, which is in the Lamb of God. And after they go forth by the hand of the twelve apostles of the Lamb, from the Jews unto the Gentiles, they see us the foundations of a great and abominable church, which is most abominable above all other churches. For behold, they have taken away the gospel of the Lamb, many parts which are plain and most precious, and also many covenants of the Lord, have they taken away? You know, I've got a Catholic Bible. It's got more books. It's the Protestants who took them all out, <laughs> like in the 1400s. <laughs> <sighs> but who are you going to believe, you know? History, facts, reality, or gold book? <sighs> that runs on a bit. And all this have they done that they might pervert the right ways of the Lord, that they might blind the eyes and harden the hearts of the children of men. Wherefore, thou seest that after the book hath gone forth through the hands of the great and abominable church, that there are many plain and precious things taken away from the book, which is the book of the Lamb of God. And after these plain and precious things were taken away, it goeth forth unto all nations of the Gentiles. And after it goeth forth unto all nations of the Gentiles, yea, even across the many waters, which thou hast seen with the Gentiles, which have gone forth out of captivity, thou seest, because of the many plain and precious things which have been taken out of the book, which being taken out of the book, which were plain unto the understanding of the children of men, according to the plainness which is in the Lamb of God, because of these things which are taken away out of the gospel of the Lamb, <laughs> an exceeding great many do stumble, yea, insomuch that Satan hath great power over them. <laughs> Nevertheless, thou beholdest that the Gentile, Gentiles, who have gone forth out of cap captivity, and have been lifted up by the power of God upon all other nations, upon the face of the land which is choice above all other lands. It is kind of nice. Which is the land that the Lord God hath covenanted, <laughs> covenanted with thine father, that his seed should have for the land of their inheritance, wherefore thou seest that the Lord God will not suffer that the Gentiles will utterly destroy the mixture of thy seed, which are among thy brethren. Neither will he suffer that the Gentiles shall destroy the seed of thy brethren. Neither will the Lord God suffer that the Gentiles shall forever remain in that awful state of blindness, which thou beholdest they are in, because of the plain and most precious parts of the gospel of the Lamb, which have been kept back by that abominable church, whose formation thou hast seen, because it doesn't happen for like many centuries, 
Wherefore saith the Lamb of God, I will be merciful unto the Gentiles, unto the visiting of the remnant of the house of Israel in great judgment. And it came to pass that the angel of the Lord spake unto me, saying, Behold, saith, uh, saith the Lord God of God, wait, saith the Lamb of God, no, behold, saith the Lamb of God, after I have visited the remnant of the house of Israel, and the remnant of whom I speak is the seed of thy father. Basically, he's going to drop in North America. Now, nobody knows this except the Mormons, that Jesus walked these lands. Yeah. Jesus slept here. Wherefore, after I have visited them in judgment, and smitten them by the hand of the Gentiles, and after the Gentiles do stumble exceedingly because of the most plain and precious parts of the gospel of the Lamb, which have been kept, in, kept back by that abominable church, which is the mother of harlots, saith the Lamb, I will be merciful unto the Gentiles in that day, insomuch that I will bring forth unto them in mine own power much of my gospel, which shall be plain and precious, saith the Lamb. <laughs> For behold, saith the Lamb. <laughs> He's just a sweet little lamb. I will manifest myself unto thy seed, that they shall write many things which I shall minister unto them, which shall be plain and precious. And after thy seed, after my seed, after thy seed shall be destroyed, and dwindle in unbelief, and also the seed of thy brethren. Behold, these things shall be hid up to come forth unto the Gentiles by the gift and the power of the Lamb. Upstate New York under a rock, baby. <laughs> I mean, don't you believe that? <laughs> and in them shall be written, My gospel, saith the Lamb, <laughs> and my rock and my salvation. And blessed are they who shall Seek to bring forth my Zion in that day, for they shall have the gift and the power of the Holy Ghost. And if they endure unto the end, they shall be lifted up in the last day, and shall be saved in the ever everlasting kingdom of the Lamb, which is in the sky, like Jack and a Beanstalk. And whoso shall publish peace, yea, tidings of great joy, how beautiful upon the mountains shall they be. Let's break into song. <laughs> I got something better. Hmm. And it came to pass that I beheld the remnant of the seed of my brethren, and also the book of the Lamb of God, which, these pages weigh a ton, had proceeded forth from the mouth of the Jew, that it came forth from the Gentiles unto the remnant of the seed of my brethren, and after it had come forth unto them, I beheld other books, which came forth by the power of the Lamb from the Gentiles unto them, unto the convincing of the Gentiles and the remnant of the seed of my brethren, and also the Jews who were scattered upon the face of the earth, that the records of the prophets and of the twelve apostles of the Lamb are true. And the angel spake unto me, saying, These last records, which thou hast 
seen among the Gentiles shall establish the truth of the first, which are of the twelve apostles of the Lamb, and shall make known the plain and precious things which have been taken away from them, and shall make known all the kindred tongues and people that the Lamb of God is the Son of the Eternal Father and the Savior of the world, and that all men must come unto him, or they cannot be saved. And they must come according to the words which shall be established by the mouth of the Lamb, and the words of the Lamb shall be made known in the records of thy seed, as well as in the records of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Wherefore, they shall they both shall be established in one. For there is one God and one shepherd over the earth and a whole bunch of sheep. And the time cometh that he shall manifest himself unto all nations, both unto the Jews and, and also unto the Gentiles. And after he has manifested himself unto the Jews and also unto the Gentiles, then he shall manifest himself unto the Gentiles and also unto the Jews. And the last shall be first, and the first shall be last. And that's the end of chapter 13. I mean, is that fucking impressive or what? Especially that closing, man. God, this thing weighs a ton. Happy New Year. Looks like I still got 50 minutes to go. But I'm not going to put you through that. <laughs> oh, I've got to catch my breath. Mm, it's still cold. <clears throat> But really, I mean, isn't this fucking great reading? You know, all holy books, re you know, will make sense if you do it my way. <clears throat> Peace out. Don't you think the skipper's a sweet old lamb? <laughs> I need to have him hear me say that. <laughs>